this absolutely could be more profitable than mining. You know, mining has the fluctuation and total dependency on the raw material cost, which makes it really a different kind of industry. You know, we're more focused on the manufacturing and the conversion cost, but you know, our business moves up and down with the commodity price. Whereas a mine is totally linked to that. A recycling of batteries will be a absolutely crucial component to this whole 21st century supply chain. You've got a couple of problems and challenges to attack here. One is to get rid of the volume of end of life batteries that are going to be coming from EVs. And that's really going to take off 2025 onwards. The second thing is what metals can you get out of those batteries and um, what can you turn them into and, and what industries can use them in again. And that's a secondary problem. And so you've got a lot of pioneers right now looking at recycling. It's going to be a big industry. Business. When I think you know, about the you know, maybe distant future, when we're operating as a really sustainable society and economy, you know, we need to be productively unbuilding you know, everything that we've built. You know, this is kind of the tip of the proverbial iceberg. We're currently recycling, you know, several gigawatt hours uh, of, of energy storage per year. That seems like a big amount, but it's only maybe one or two percent of what's actually being built today. So if you look ahead, you know, we need to be operating at a hundred times the scale we are now in, in just a few short years. You know, this has to get solved. There really is no alternative. You know, we can't just sort of dump these batteries into the ocean or into a landfill, you know, it just, it just doesn't work. So, you know, I really enjoy working on slightly underdog problems that are not getting enough attention where, you know, with a small team, you know, we can affect a big industry in the future and we can invent some things that are going to have a dramatic impact on, on a huge portion of the industry. This is J.B. Straubel. He is a co-founder and longtime chief technology officer of Tesla. He was the mastermind behind many of Tesla's core technologies, particularly around the battery tech. He left Tesla in 2019 so he could focus on recycling all of these batteries. Robble started thinking about this massive and growing problem long before he left Tesla. We started this you know, because I saw this, this looming problem from the end-of-life vehicles that we were creating and starting to have a deep appreciation you know, back then for the scale of what was coming and the fact that you know, I didn't see anyone else getting ready for the scale of that problem. The lithium ion battery recycling market is projected to grow to $18.1 billion in 2030, up from $1.5 billion in 2019. Recycling batteries isn't just good for the planet, it's also surprisingly good business. We make margin in, in a few different places there, and it's really by you know, solving the transport and disposal problems with the batteries initially. And we also take in a lot of consumer batteries, you know, things that used to be you know, in an individual's you know, care, whether it was a scooter or a bicycle or a phone. These things are a bit difficult to handle, and they do have chemical risks and fire risks. So we, we solve that problem. And, you charge and, customers to solve that problem. Well, or, or we uh, are able to basically do that at a low, you know, low return fee. So, you know, in some cases we're actually paying customers back for the batteries, depending on how much material we're able to recover and resell from it. And that's my other question. Are you making money reselling materials yet, or is it still in the startup phase where you're not turning a profit? Well, we're still, we're still growing very quickly. So we're consuming capital as we build the operation and the equipment. The most important thing, though, is that the unit operations are profitable. So we're able to, you know, take these input materials, refine them, purify them, and sell them at a profitable unit margin. And, you know, that, that's the fundamentally key thing. It's getting better quite quickly as we improve the technology and scale. That gives me the encouragement that this, you know, is economic today relative to mining, even at this, you know, early stage. There's been just an amazing blossoming of recycling companies globally. China leads here again. US is catching up as is Europe, but recycling is a very sort of unsexy industry that could be very profitable in the future because of course we need to take those batteries, recharge them, recondition them, and use them again. That's the good news. And there are many companies at work right now to fill that demand. Another big player in North America is LiCycle which has battery recycling plants operating in Ontario, Canada, and Rochester, New York, and has plans for rapid expansion. So this is our facility in Rochester, New York. 
Uh, it's part of the Kodak Eastman Business Park. So one of the things that we like to say about uh, this facility is not only do we recycle batteries, but we also recycle the building. Lifecycle says that recycling is more efficient than mining. Long-term recycling is more efficient. It uses less energy, it uses less water, and it uses less reagents than traditional mining processes. So our cost base will always be lower. The benefit for life cycle is that we don't set the price. The mining industry sets the price. In fact, it's the marginal operator in that industry which sets the price. And what we do is we benefit from those higher prices. Now, long term, we can see a potential where recycling starts to impact and bring down the cost of these materials. But at the moment, we're a relatively small part of the overall ecosystem. We're really unlocking the value in the batteries and we're selling those materials at market dictated prices, which is dictated by mining and refining today, uh, primarily. We're not relying on getting paid by anybody for a waste fee. And you know, frankly, customers don't like that. They want to know that we're going to be unlocking the value. A mining company of equivalent looking to produce similar materials, they would struggle to produce the same levels of margin that we can deliver as a recycling company. So not only is there a good ESG sentiment and story behind what Lifecycle is doing, but from a business perspective, it's highly profitable. This absolutely could be more profitable than mining. You know, mining has the fluctuation and total dependency on the raw material cost, which makes it really a different kind of industry. You know, we're more focused on the manufacturing and the conversion cost, but you know, our business moves up and down with the commodity price, whereas a mine is totally linked to that. A recycling of batteries will be a absolutely crucial component to this whole 21st century supply chain. You've got a couple of problems and challenges to attack here. One is to get rid of the volume of end of life batteries that are gonna be coming from EVs. And that's really gonna take off 2025 onwards. The second thing is what metals can you get out of those batteries and um, what can you turn them into and, and what industries can use them in again. And that's a secondary problem. And so you've got a lot of pioneers right now looking at recycling it's going to be a big industry. Straubel says the plan is to continue to improve recycling technology and to create an entirely closed loop system. So recycling can actually surpass geological mining. We are, you know, actively, you know, setting up facilities and looking for locations uh, in Europe, you know, perhaps Norway, perhaps Germany, and also some smaller facilities, you know, on the other, you know, corners of, of the U.S perhaps Texas, perhaps somewhere in the Midwest. In five to seven years from now, we need to be able to break down materials uh, in, in the EV space at the pace that they're being manufactured today. So if there's, you know, let's just say for rough math, there's a thousand cars a day being produced and there's more than that. We need to be able to recover and recycle at that same rate when those products hit their end of life. And that's just in the EV space. Almost everything has a battery in it nowadays. And so a lot of that technology is lithium ion cells and it all has value that needs to be recovered and sent back into the supply chain. And could recycling actually replace mining one day? With recycling of batteries, you will never get enough lithium out of those batteries and in the right quality to use back in batteries. That's like a fundamental issue for the industry. That won't be changing, especially with the demand um, profiling ever increasing as well. But the fact of the matter is, uh, at today's date, it is cheaper to mine for lithium rather than recycle it from existing battery packs. So that is projected to go on for the next uh, uh, at least 10 years or so. But still, it will be a very important part of making EV and battery production more environmentally friendly. Batteries from EVs will not go in landfills. There are technologies available like ours, like life cycles, that are efficient, profitable, don't need subsidies, and can do this as a sustainable, growing, scaling business. When I think, you know, about the, you know, maybe distant future, when we're operating as a really sustainable society and economy, you know, we need to be productively unbuilding, you know, everything that we've built. You know, this is kind of the tip of the proverbial iceberg. We're currently recycling, you know, several gigawatt hours uh, of, of energy storage per year. That seems like a big amount, but it's only maybe one or two percent of what's actually being built today. So if you look ahead, you know, we need to be operating at a hundred times the scale we are now in, in just a few short years. You know, this has to get solved. There really is no alternative. You know, we can't 
just sort of dump these batteries into the ocean or into a landfill, you know, it just, it just doesn't work. So, you know, I really enjoy working on slightly underdog problems that are not getting enough attention where, you know, with a small team, you know, we can affect a big industry in the future and we can invent some things that are going to have a dramatic impact on, on a huge portion of the industry.